Danvers Demented Features is brought to you in part by Beach Tech. Digital Juice. The Sweet Company. And from viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, my minions. Welcome to Demented Features. Danver is here. And today, we're coming to you from the Antique Gallery here in Round Rock, Texas. So our uh, uh, surroundings have changed just a little bit. And we're going to take a tour in a few minutes and see all of the cool things that are here. And uh, if you missed our announcement on our Facebook page on Halloween night, and by the way, I highly suggest that you go to our Facebook page, we made a major announcement. Coming next year, we are going to be bringing you um, the 19th century vampire story called Varney the Vampire or The Feast of Blood as it's subtitled. I, I love it already. And this is the first time, well, ever, to our knowledge, that this story has actually been told, uh, at least in cinematic form. Um, so we're very excited uh, to bring this to you. Um, Varney the Vampire was a uh, 19th century, what they call a penny dreadful, and uh, it's been ripped off numerous times uh like dracula is probably the most famous example um bram stoker l liberally took ideas from varney the vampire and and put it into his novel but uh, uh more recently dark shadows has ripped it off um i say ripped off uh, i mean that with love i rip off crap all the time uh, because there are no original ideas anymore but we are excited to bring bring Varney the Vampire to you in its true form, uh, in all its beautiful 19th century melodrama, and that's coming to you um, probably mid-winter next year. So head on over to DementedFeatures.com and, uh, and, and, and take a look. Uh, but in the meantime, here is a little teaser trailer and uh, it'll give you a little idea about uh, what we have in store. Take a look. That was Varney the Vampire. What did you guys think? It's a little bit of recycled footage from an earlier project, but it gives you a teaser, a little flavor of what's to come. And we'll have uh, more footage and, and, and more information coming uh, uh, later in the year. So, let's take a little tour now of the Antique Gallery, and let me show you some of the cool things that are all around this place. Here we go.
So that's just a small sampling of what's in the antique mall. So I highly encourage you, come on down and check it out. There's no reason for this holiday season for you to go to some big box store or God forbid a mall and, and, and buy a bunch of useless uh, uh, crap. So if you come to an antique mall, you're bound to find things that you had from your childhood or your grandparents had and that you make some connection to, something that has a little history to it. But come check it out. There's bound to be something from uh, jewelry to vintage toys to china to, uh, you know, you name it. It's here. I've seen um, everything from just crazy to, you know, old old lady chic, so it's here. Anyway, today's feature is Teenagers from Outer Space. That's a good segue, isn't it? This is a great movie. It's one of those movies where it's so bad, it's good. It's like they're so polite, it's creepy. It's one of those things. I love it. So check it out. This is Teenagers from Outer Space.
Report preliminary findings. Thor reporting. 42 saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Intermediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. Tridex mixer components ratio exceeding 7 to 1.4. Moore reporting. Diagonal adjustment reading resisting structural forms by 2.8.0 vernums. Saw reporting. Uneven cartoid levels intersect planes below 0.03. Surface readings register above minimum requirements. Morrow, go below and bring up the young Gargan specimen. Now the decision depends on its reactions. Wait, Captain. I have found evidence of intelligent beings on this planet. Of what concern are foreign beings? Of none to you, Thor. Just as you were so unconcerned when you destroyed the small creature. So bravely. It was no more than an insect. But it had life. And that life you had to take to satisfy your endless hunger for killing. Silence, both of you. Proceed, bring the Gargan. That will not be necessary, Captain. Conditions here will be reported as unsatisfactory as they were on the other planets we have charted. By what authority? You will prepare for takeoff. The ship will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations... You may forget the code of operations, Captain. Only civilized beings could have made the inscription on this metal piece. We shall not have the thousands of Gargans brought here to destroy them. You have concern for foreign beings over our mission to locate grazing land for our Gargan herds? Recall, it is necessary as a reserve food supply for our people. Our people? We live like parts of a machine. We don't know our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. It is the one and only way to maintain the supreme race. Have you forgotten it? Our people have forgotten. They have been made to forget for centuries. But I have learned how it once was. Families, brothers and sisters, there was happiness, there was love. Of what do you speak? From where have you learned such things? I have read. I have read from this book. I discovered it and kept it hidden. Somehow it survived the flames of the Annihilators when our people were turned into mechanized slaves centuries ago. When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture and death for this treason. The High Court may judge me after we have accomplished our mission will find an uninhabited planet to which the herds of Gargans may be shipped without endangering civilized beings. Let me see that book. I am interested to see what sways your mind so heavily. You may have it. <coughs> Bring up the Gargan. You were a fool, Derek. This book has poisoned your mind, and you shall suffer for it. Captain, if the Gargans are shipped here, the inhabitants may destroy them. That possibility alone makes it worthwhile to locate an uninhabited planet. That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. Keep him under guard, Thor. I will study the reactions of the young Gargan. Before the High Court has you executed, you should be made to watch what happens when we return here with the Gargans. By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times their original size in less time than it takes for the sun to rise and fall. It thrives, Captain. Already I can feel it has grown heavier. We shall return to our base and lead the transport ships here. Soon, this planet will be covered with full-grown gargans. A safe distance from our planet, yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. Repack the instruments. I shall radio back the news of our success. Captain! Captain, something has gone wrong. 
Look here. What? What has happened? I do not know. It suddenly fell limp and now does not move. Assemble the T-Rex. It's hooking the gas grating instruments. Be quick! Atmosphere here tested above minimum, but the gargan species cannot live due to excessive nitrogenic gas compounds emitted in our preliminary diagnosis. Then this planet will be reported as unsuitable? Repack the instruments and prepare for takeoff. We will continue our search in another solar system. And when we return to our home base, you will be presented to the High Court with the evidence against you. Thor, Saul, find the prisoner and prepare him for the isolation chamber. I will make contact with base. Expedition Z06 to base. Expedition Z06 to base. Guard him. I will get the straps. Lie down. Put your hands behind you. Get free. He escaped from Saul. I could have stopped him. Derek is to be brought back alive. He is the son of our leader. Derek? I reported his actions and was connected with the leader himself. He told me this. He said Derek does not know. As the son of our leader, the High Court will pardon him. He will be pardoned. When the sky is light, we will begin to search for him. Captain, look at this. The Gargan. It is not dead. It has revived. It flourishes. The excessive nitrogenic gas compound shocked its system. Now it thrives on the very same compounds. Then this planet is suitable. Completely. I must resume radio vision contact. Morrow, Saul, secure the Gargan by expandable leg bands. Out of sight in that cave. The size it attains by the time we return will give us an exact growth rate to expect of the herds. At the rate the Gargon is expected to grow, what will prevent it from tearing loose the leg bands and escaping from the cave? We shall be back before that happens, unless it should receive food in excess of the atmospheric elements. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. Imagine thousands of beasts like that. Millions of times enlarged, roaming over this planet. They will be harvested from the air, so there will be no danger to us. Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it. Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to lead the transport ships there. Derek's escape could now mean difficulty in our operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants, inferior though they may be. If we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Leave your best man to find Derek and inform him he is my son. I will join you on the return trip to meet him there. He may be stubborn. He has already threatened our lives. If that becomes the case, he... he must be destroyed. And any beings with whom he might communicate, they must be destroyed. Your orders are complete. 
I shall send my best man. I heard the orders, Captain. Let me find Derek. You will wait until the sky is light enough to begin the search. We will leave now and return here to meet you when we bring the Gargans. Do not fail, for I shall not fail. So in exploring the Antique Mall, we, we've come across some very interesting things, and let's share this with you. So, these are bloodletting fleems. So, uh, if you don't know what this was for, back in the 18th and 19th century, um, they uh, believed that when you uh, bloodletted, when you released some blood uh, out of your, your system, that it helped cleanse uh, the blood. It helped get rid of the bad stuff. Uh, and so what they would do is they would find a good vein and uh, put you under a bowl of some sort and they would take one of these different uh, diameter of, of uh, blade and they would stick it right here on, on your, uh, your, your vein and they would give it a good whack with a little uh, device like a little hammer and uh, and they would open you up and you would bleed into the bowl for an amount of time that they thought sufficient. And uh, that's how George Washington died. Uh, they kept trying to cleanse his blood and they just bled the poor bastard to death. So, um, uh, this is a bloodletting flame. It, it, it should be part of everyone's first aid kit. I, I truly believe that. So, um, this is just one of the unique finds that you'll you'll come across here at the uh, the old antique mall, and uh, uh, you know this is this is pretty cool. Uh, I I think I'm gonna take this one home with me. So uh, just uh, no. Yeah. Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown enemy. That's what he meant. Something behind this, something we don't understand. The weapon he uses, it's unheard of. Blasting flesh right off the bone. Master control to fleet, set flight pattern to minus point zero eight. Increase speed. They're coming right at us! Get down inside the cave! breakfast out 20 minutes ago, Grandpa, and it's still here. He's probably still out chasing gophers. Hello. You've come to see our room for rent? What's that? I found to see the room for rent, Grandpa. You show it to him, will you? Joe will be by for me in a minute. We're going swimming at Alice's, and I haven't even changed yet. Well, come on in. I'm Betty Morgan, and this is my grandfather. How do you do, son? 
Uh, just arrived in town? Don't believe I've seen you around before. I just arrived. And your name? Derek. Derek. The empty room belonged to my brother, Bud. He's married now and lives upstate. Your brother? You knew your brother? Did I know my brother? That's a strange question to ask. Grandpa raised us both since we were kids after Mom and Dad died. I am sorry. I. It's just that I never knew any brothers or sisters. <laughs> Your mother and father decided to play it smart and avoid a lot of squabbles around the house. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> I never knew my mother or father. Oh. Well, let's take a look at the room, and if you like it, you're welcome to stay. It's this way. I'll show it to you. Hey, I thought you were getting ready to go swimming. No, that can wait. Right in here, Derek. I hope you like the view. There's plenty of windows. <laughs> Well, hello. What can I do for you? You are alone. Say, who are you anyway? Never mind. I think you better get out of here before I call the police. You will call no one. You will do as I say. That's what you think, mister. I said you will call no one. <laughs> Grandpa was asleep, so I left a note so I'll know where we went. If I know Grandpa, we'll be back before he even wakes up. Where are we going? You've got to tell me. It is not far now. You can't escape. The police will find you. Possibly they will. But barricaded in the mouth of a cave, with you as hostage and me with this... How long do you think you can hold out that way? Long enough. There will not be too long to wait. Hey! Bring your flash bulbs up here. This tunnel is black as pitch. Okay, I'll be right up. Do not value your life. He's getting away. Follow him. No. Dare refuse. <laughs>
Are you hurt badly? I don't think so. Just bruised. Oh, thank heavens it's over. It was like a nightmare. I, I wish it was over. What do you mean? Back in the cave where he shot at me. Some kind of man-eating monster. Cormac, the guy I was with, I could hear the thing tearing him apart. He was dead in a few seconds. Oh, how horrible. What could it have been? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm afraid the nightmare has just begun. The man guilty of these strange killings now lies mute in confinement at General Hospital, where he is being treated for minor injuries. Authorities plan to transfer him to city jail tonight. The fantastic murder weapon he used has not been located. Mystery still surrounds the disappearance of a man-eating beast said to have been in an abandoned mine shaft outside the city limits. These newsreel shots were made immediately after the city police surrounded the cave and found it completely empty. Evidence in the cave appeared to confirm the report that a monster of some sort had been shackled there but had somehow attained strength enough to pull itself loose and escape. Groups of armed volunteers have set out in search of the creature, hoping to track it down and destroy it. Meanwhile... Door crash just below here. If that disintegrator is down there, I'm going to find it. Derek, I just thought. The monster that escaped from the cave. It must have been there at the same time we were. What I can't figure out is, why did it escape when it did? Why not sooner? It would not have been large enough, but the man it consumed increased its growth rate. Then, how big would it be now? There is no telling. You stay here. Keep the door closed. Go back, it's too dangerous for you We can find that thing twice as fast if we both look. You make me angry. But I like you very much. In a moment, the moon will come from behind a cloud. It'll be easier to see what we're looking for. Yes. The light from your moon, it will help. My moon? Where are you from, Derek? I think I know. I think I've known for some time. You're not from this world, are you? I did not know how to tell you. It seems impossible to believe. You're so much like us, like my brother, grandpa when he was young, and to think. We were made the same. The only difference is that we were put on places far, far apart. What is it like where you're from? Babies are bred and raised like livestock parented by the most perfect specimens of our race. If you become ill, you are put to death, as are the old. You won't be going back ever, will you? I shall make the earth my home, and I shall never, never leave it.
the moon has come from behind the cloud. Derek. The cricket. It's so quiet. The garden, get back! It won't work. Run. Go start the motor. Hurry. damaged somehow when Thor was thrown in the crash. You said that that thing would keep growing. If it does, what can stop it from wrecking the city? And I may be able to repair the damaged part of the disintegrator. If I can, we will stop the Gargan and give the Earth a weapon against invasion as well. If only I can get it to work. Exhausted, he fell sound asleep with all his clothes on. Do you think you can fix it, Derry? I have found the damaged part. Such a little thing. And yet it has the power to destroy as it does. It is worthless, unless I can figure out an energy substitute. Maybe it won't come into the city, Derek. It will come to the city for more food, if nothing else. in a station 86, out by the hills, due northeast. There's some kind of a monster. It suddenly bobbed up and seemed to touch the sky. I have not been drinking. No, I can't see it now. It must be behind the hills, but I'm getting out of here. The few remaining survivors of the search party that was attacked report that the beast they encountered was many times the size they expected, indicating that the monster has some strange power of rapid growth. An exact description was we have a bulletin just received. According to a report not yet confirmed, a beast of seemingly gigantic proportions has been sighted lurking in the hills due northeast of town. City officials have called for military help. Planes and troops are expected to arrive within the next two hours. Meanwhile, citizens should take refuge in places of safety. Cellars, bomb shelters, as directed by civil defense administrators. I repeat. Derek, they say it's coming. It has grown. It's just northeast of town. I'd better wake up Grandpa. We'll all go down to the cellar. You go there with him. There is a chance I can do something yet. What? What are you looking at? Those wires. Going from pole to pole. They carry the source of energy used for illumination and power in the homes. Yes, electricity. And the wires are spread throughout the city, are they not? You mean you might be able to make the disintegrator work by hooking it to... Possibly. If the power were great enough, the only chance, so I've got to try it. I can help, Derek. I'm going with you. Oh, uh, what's going on? Uh, what's all the commotion about? Grandpa, Derek and I are going out to the edge of town. Wait for us here. First, I must put the disintegrator back together, and then find proper tools. I can load the car with every tool we have in the garage. All right, then. Let us go. Thank you. 
in the cellar, Gramps, with Betty. What makes you think Betty's in the cellar? She's out somewhere with Derek again. Everybody's supposed to take shelter. The monster from the cave, it's approaching the town. Huh? Then that's where they must have gone, those crazy kids. Joe, we've got to try and find them. You mean they... Come on, then, let's go. You have to believe me. There's no time to check with anybody. Out there. That looks like him. Derek is climbing down a pole. And look what's coming. We're not going to make it in time. If only there were more power, Betty. Is there any way to generate more power? We've got to have more. I can join in more circuits, but it may blow off the line. Try anything. It's our only chance. Your people are here for you. I must leave. They will take care of you. But, Derek, you promised. You said... I know what I must do. You must not interfere. Betty, thank heavens you're all right. That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. Somehow I feel that I've always known you, that we've never been apart. You are the son of our leader. You won't be going back ever, will you? How get a weapon like that? It makes me think of what the killer used. It is. The same thing. But who is he? Where did he come from, anyway? Some place none of us has ever heard of before, Joe. What do you mean? Clear from another planet. Far out in space. Hey, wait a minute. Betty, this is no time to be joking. I'm not joking. Where do you think the monster came from? And the man who was doing all the killing and, and the unheard of weapon he used. But how did they... They came in a, a spaceship of some sort. Whatever those people told you they saw last night. The flying saucer? And I thought those people were seeing things. They weren't. Derek looked into the sky just before he left here. Somehow, he could tell more on 
the way. He must be in the house. There's our car. Goodbye, Betty. No, Derek, no. You are Joe. I want you to take me somewhere in your vehicle. What makes you think I will? You refuse to take me? That's right. I'm staying right here. You will do as I say. No, Derek, this isn't you. Do not interfere, Betty. I beg you. Get in. Take me to where they are keeping the prisoner. The killer? He's at General Hospital, but... Then take me there. John, go to the disintegrator. It won't... Betty! Trust me, Betty. Trust me. Derek seemed like such a nice fellow. Grandpa, he promised me something. He promised he would never leave, that he would never go back. I don't believe he wants to break his promise to me. I'm not going to let him. What can you do about it, honey? I think I know where he's going, out by the old mine. I want to go there. I want to see him once more. He's hurt you enough, Betty. Grandpa, please let me go. I must. this building. It looks like they haven't transferred him to city jail yet. What are you planning to do? Never mind. Just get out of the car and walk in front of me. move. I will take the prisoner. Get their guns. Hand them to me. Now get in. You face the wall. Keep your hands above your heads. I was stupid, Thor. Very stupid. But that is over. We are returning to meet the ships. Together. Why do you let them live? Kill them! There is no need. They will be dead soon enough. Along with everything else on this planet. Go! Look! That's what he meant! of an alien source are approaching from the sky. Radio contact has been attempted but cannot be established. Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown enemy.
Betty. Gramps, what are you doing here? Why do you concern yourself with them? Destroy them. Why, Thor? They cannot change what is going to happen. What is going to happen, Derek? You must understand. Death must come to all. Sooner to some, later to others. The guide ship is about to land. We must go to meet it. Your promise, Derek. Don't you remember your promise? I have not forgotten it. the guide ship. And it looks like there are a hundred more still in the sky. What are they going to do? Derek told me. The other ships are loaded with thousands of those horrible creatures, like the one Derek killed today. Why are they bringing them here? To raise for food, a safe distance from their own people. And they don't care what happens to us? Derek cared. He wanted to make the Earth is home. He promised he would never leave. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> I would have used the disintegrator on them, but it will not function without energy supply. It was damaged when you crashed. I had to bluff with it. It is just as well. They will be the first victims of the Gargan herds. So you were able to bring him back, Thor. He brought me. I am sorry I acted the way I did. I am ready to take my punishment. There will be no punishment, my son. You are my father? I am. I have watched your progress since you were born. You have excelled in all things. I was most disappointed to learn that you were deserted. I came this trip hoping I would find you had returned. Has what I have done not disqualified me? Am I still to... You are back. That is all that matters. Your mistakes were made because of that book. It blurred your mind, but only temporarily. How is it you are able to leave the planet? Will not the government structure collapse in your absence? We will return immediately, as soon as the Gargans are unloaded from the fleet of ships. The people are unaware that I am gone. Yes, we must leave quickly. If your absence were discovered, it would likely spark the beginning of a revolution. I am not the only one who had that book, Father. Yes, I know. And you will help in tracking down others who may have such books. Yes, I... I see the fleet is approaching. They are flying from radio signals from the guide ship, are they not? Let me be the one to direct them in for landing. Captain, are the ships close enough to receive the landing signals? Momentarily, but... Then go below, Derek. You will bring them in. They're getting mighty close. Derek has some plan. He's not doing what they want him to, I'm sure. Master control to fleet. Master control to fleet. Increase speed. Set flight pattern to Derek, minus point I zero eight. You. Increase speed. Open this hatch at once. The ships seem to be converging and increasing their speed. They cannot land. He has a plan to have them land, but crash! They're coming right at us! Derek's doing it. That's what he planned. But he's inside there. He'll be killed too. Get down inside the cave. Please think of what you are doing. Turn the ships around before it is too late. Hold, course,
I shall make the earth my home, and I shall never, never leave it. was teenagers from outer space. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the feature as much as I have, and I just want to remind you to have a happy and safe holiday season, and uh, we will see you next time right here on Demented Features. <laughs>